Hello. Now we will study the radiation. Now we are assuming there is a sender and we are assuming there is one receiver. So we are having a sender which will be sending the heat and receiver is there which will be receiving that energy. So as we have studied there are three main processes conduction, convection and the third one is the radiation. So in case of conduction and convection this sender used to send the heat to the nearest particle and then that particle used to send the heat in case of conduction and it used to carry the heat in case of convection. But radiation is little bit different than that. In case of radiation the sender don't rely on to the medium. What it do? The sender keeps throwing the packets of energy outside and by these packets of energy we call them as photons. So it keeps sending, keeps throwing the photons outside and obviously this thing happens randomly. It's not, some, it's not like the sender will be throwing the packets, throw, throwing the photons in one particular direction. It will be throwing in all possible directions. So be, basically these photons, they will directly go to the receiver without the need of this medium. Sometimes these photon gets cons uh, this consumed by the medium also but we don't care about that. If they will get consumed by the medium it is either conduction or convection. But in case of radiation they just throw it. So sender will be throwing the heat, throwing the energy directly to the receiver and receiver will be receiving that heat. So there is no question of achieving the equilibrium here. In case of conduction and in case of convection there used to be the question of achieving the steady state and then we used to study. Here the process starts from the very beginning. From the very beginning, sender will be throwing the energy and from the very beginning, receiver will be receiving those packets. It, it will be receiving those energy and the flow of energy will be taking place from the sender to receiver. This process is known as radiation. So in this process, if you want to study this process, there are four basic things which happens. So let's talk about a system. So if I'm having some random system, this random system and we are only talking about the radiation right now. So this random system keeps receiving the energy through radiation and this random system, this is my system, keeps throwing, keeps emitting the energy out of the system. This is my random system. Let's assume the temperature of this system to be T and outside temperature let's assume T0. So this is the energy incident upon the system. This is the incident energy and obviously this incident energy is coming from the surrounding. So whatever surrounding is emitting, it will be received by the system or not whatever, some portion of the emission done by the surrounding will be received by the system. So this incident energy which is, which is incidenting upon the system, part of this energy, part of this energy, my system will absorb some part of this energy, some part of this incident energy, I'm calling this I some part of this incident energy our system will absorb and the remaining portion if you see it will reflect. So I'm calling it R. So incident energy is I that is the intensity of the incident energy. So some portion of that energy my system will absorb I'm calling it A and the remaining portion it will reflect. So basically I can make a formula in terms of intensity here that I will be equals to R plus A. You see, whatever this system is absorbing, this is A, this A will raise the temperature or it might change the direction. This is something which the system is absorbing. The system's kinetic energy, system's total energy is getting increased because of this absorption. Okay. But at the same time, the system is absorbing something. At the same time, the system is emitting something also. There is a emission which also taking place. I am defining that by E. But the thing is there is no direct relationship between the absorption and the emission. You see absorption depend upon the incident. Whatever incident upon that the part of it the system will be absorbing. But when it comes to the emission system emit what it has. What it gathered throughout of its life. So the emission will be corresponding to T but the absorption will not be corresponding to this T temperature. It will be depending upon the T naught because the incident energy will depend upon this T naught temperature. So my emission and absorption they will not be directly connected. They will be indirectly connected but not directly. So you see these three process are connected separately and this process is separate. This emission is a separate process and these three processes are separate. 
Now, in case of radiation, we don't study these processes. What we do, we only study this one. Because, because you know, this emission, ultimately, this incident energy is nothing but emission by something. So, something is emitting, some, some third system will be there, which will be emitting some of the energy, which will be emitting some, some energy, and part of that energy will be incident upon my system. And again, my system will be emitting some energy, and this energy will become the incident energy for some other system. So, if we know how to study and how to calculate this emission corresponding to my system, we can calculate the incident corresponding to my system. We can also calculate absorption because this thing depend upon the incident. And we can also calculate the reflection because reflection is nothing but incident minus absorption. Okay, so the thing is we will study this process. Emission is the process we want to study in case of radiation. We want to study how the sender will be sending the heat, with what rate it will be sending the heat and that is defined as emission. Okay, so one by one we'll study these processes. We'll study the emission, we'll study the absorption and then we'll study the reflection in this chapter. Okay, thank you.